No team has been more dominant in college basketball conference, winning their conference than Kansas has in the Big 12. They finally have a challenger this year. I'm Ralph Michaels for wagertalk.com, joined in studio with Marco D'Angelo, and we are talking Kansas at Texas Tech. Texas Tech won this first game, Marco, and Kansas now finally has a shot. Kansas has won the Big 12 13 straight years. They're going for a 14th straight regular season conference title. If they beat Texas Tech, they're going to get it. What do you think about this? Yeah, well, you know, my opening line, and you, you took it, I said, well, 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 look who's on top of the Big 12 again because it took all season for them to get there, and it's only because Texas Tech has stubbed their toe now two games in a row. And, you know, I look at this one, I like this Texas Tech team, and I got to ask the question, and I'll ask it to you, Ralph. We use a saying in handicapping a lot of times that you can lose a game twice. And do you think Texas Tech, that loss last Saturday down to the buzzer against Baylor, they had a hangover effect last night in losing. You know, you come off the Baylor loss and you got this monumental game on the horizon with Kansas because no matter, you know, what, if you win or lose that game last night, it still was going to come down. The winner of this matchup is going to have the control, their own control their own destiny for the Big 12. So I think it was a situation that they lost that Baylor game twice. Well, you know, I, I, I'm a big fan of Texas Tech, and I've watched them closely. And, you know, I attribute actually both of those losses to Keenan Evans not being 100%. He got banged up. He just was not the same player. Hopefully he is for this matchup because you don't want to see – you know, a, a Texas Tech team that went 6-12 and 12 in the Big 12 last year, now challenging, they get to the biggest game of the year, and their best player is not 100%. So ho hopefully he is healthy. You know, in the first meeting, it was 85-73. to 73. You know, but I will talk, you know, Kansas and, and their, their, the way they can bounce back. They have cashed 17 straight games with revenge. So the next time they play a Big 12 team off a loss, 17-0, that's not against the spread. That is straight up. You know, we made this line about Pickham. Texas Tech might have been a few points favored, but with their two losses and Evans still banged up, you know, I think the Kansas money will be coming in. And, and with the line of Pickham, Marco, tell us, who will control the Big 12 after Saturday? Well, you know what, Ralph? This is a game that reminds me last week of a game in the Big Ten where you had a team that's, you know, one of the premier teams in the conference year in and year out, and a team finally beat them. And then they were going for the sweep, and they were going for it at home, and it was a pick -em type line. And that was Ohio State and Penn State. And in that game, I was on Penn State. I used it on the uh, betting first look that week. And I said, because – most people are going to look and say, there's no way Penn State sweeps Ohio State. It just doesn't happen. Not only did they beat them, they knocked the snot out of them. Now, will Texas Tech do that to Kansas? No, I don't think so. But we got to wait to Saturday and check that injury report, see if he's going to be available. Obviously, he's a big part of that team. Shooting percentage the last two games has been pathetic for Texas Tech, and that's not the way they've shot all year. They shot... 39% in the Baylor game and only 41% against Oklahoma State. And Oklahoma State's not a great defensive team. So that was a poor performance last night. And like I said, I just think it was a bad spot sandwiched in between the two games. I'm going to talk more about Kansas. Kansas beat West Virginia last Saturday. And full disclosure, I had West Virginia, and I was tossing stuff around the room <laughs> in that game, okay? It unraveled in the final four minutes of the game. West Virginia led from pillar to post until four minutes left. They still had to lead at four minutes. They only scored four points in the final four minutes of that game. Add to that the fact that Huggins got called for, I think, one technical, maybe two. He went off on the referees in the final minute and a half of that game. They weren't getting any calls. And, you know, we like to say the Big 12 takes care of their own. Rock Chalk Jayhawk. <laughs> um, <laughs> Home cooking, I don't know if you saw the box score. 35 times Kansas went to the foul line. You want to know how many times West Virginia went to the foul line in that game? Less than that. Two. 
35 to 2, Ralph. So, all right, so they got a win that Kansas didn't deserve to get. But then they turn around with a 30-point blowout against Oklahoma. And now everybody, that's where everybody's going to get the buy sign. They scored 104 points. They rolled over them. You know, big win, 30-point win, blowout Oklahoma. And Oklahoma is a team that over the second half of the season have not played well at all. They played well at the beginning of the season before everybody learned about Trey Young. How to defend them, absolutely. And, and what has happened is he's become too much of the focal point of the offense where they got to the point where everybody else, to me, is standing around waiting for something to happen. They're not playing good basketball, and I – that win, although it, as impressive as 30 points is, you can't, you know, totally dismiss that. Oklahoma's not playing good basketball, and they just quit in that game. Uh, and I always – you hear me say it all the time. No team's as good as their best game, nor is a team as bad as their worst game. And I think the public's going to overreact to Kansas and the revenge. I'm going to go with Texas Tech here. I think they get the job done. Um, that place is going to be rocking. This is the biggest game that Texas Tech has had in – how long, Ralph, right? yeah. for, for basketball for them? In Saturday crowd, um, this game going to be somewhere around to pick them. It could even, if the public gets involved loving their, you know, their Kansas Jayhawks that they're back, you could get Texas Tech as a small dog on Saturday. I'm going to go ahead and give them a shot here. But I will tell you this much. If Texas Tech loses that game on Saturday, they're going to be a fade for me until the conference tournament, their, their remaining couple games, because they're going to put everything into that game on Saturday. Marco's calling for a new regime, a best bet on Texas Tech over Kansas. You know, I'm going to look at this game, and I'm going to look where the total opened. The first game was sort of high. It was 85-73. I think this is going to be one of those low-scoring defensive battles. I'm going to look, if anything, to play the under in this game. I'm going to pass on the side. And, folks, it's going to be a great weekend of basketball. We talked about a few games. We're talking about a few more. If you use the code SHIP10, SHIP10 will get you a discount off any package, $10 off any package. Marco, why are we using SHIP10? Well, I'd like to say it's because I'm at the poker table and shipping big pots. But, no, it's because Johnny's on a cruise ship right now going around the Caribbean, you know, nice guy, you know. But, He's going to be loading these videos tonight for everybody, so he's dedicated. Appreciate you guys watching Ship 10, $10 <laughs> off any package. If you like us, give us a thumbs up, share us with your friends. We'll be back with more, wagertalk.com.